Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. Today we are going to see the second part of this presentation entitled Closed Loop Response of a DCDC Converter and why it won't be as expected. So in the previous video, Power Electronics number 44, we have seen the first part of this presentation. We saw an introduction. We presented how to calculate the closed loop response of a DC-DC converter. And also we saw an example and we calculated the expected response and the actual response. And we saw that they are not exactly the same. So today, we are going to investigate why we have this difference and we also do an LTSPICE verification to be sure that the calculated response is going to match the simulation response. If you find these videos interesting, please consider subscribing to this channel so you won't miss any video and also you will help other people to find this channel. So summarizing the previous video, the idea is to obtain the closed loop response of a DCDC converter. So if we inject here at the reference a perturbation, then we want to know how is going to be the perturbation that we get at the output of the converter. We saw the model of the converter in open loop with these schematics that we have seen in previous videos. And we analyze the operation of the converter in closed loop. So this is the response of the output voltage versus the reference voltage perturbation. So we obtain this expression here. We saw this example using a back converter operating in closed loop with a PI compensator. The PI compensator is implemented using an operational amplifier with this schematic as we have seen. Then we obtained in the previous video the full expression of the converter first here in open loop and then here in closed loop. And with this information, we went to WinPython, include in WinPython all the equations. So we did this representation of the body plot in closed loop. And then we went to LTSPICE and implemented everything using the small signal circuit, which is much quicker to do the analysis by simulation, as we have seen before. And then we did this comparison between the theoretical results obtained from WinPython and the simulation results and we can see that there are some differences between the simulation result and the theoretical results. So today we are going to investigate the reason of these differences. The key to understand the difference between the theoretical results and the simulation results is in the way in which we are implementing the closed loop operation of our converter. Here in this schematic, we have the typical implementation in which we are measuring the output voltage with this sensor H. We are comparing the voltage with the reference, send this information into the PI compensator and then into, into the modulator and finally controlling the switch. Usually this closed loop operation is implemented in this way as we show here. We are measuring again the output voltage and send it into the PI compensator. But in this PI compensator, we are implementing both the differentiator that we have here and also the PI compensator both together into this circuit. So if we analyze this circuit in detail, we will see that this implementation 
is not exactly the same as this implementation here. Let's analyze the implementation with the operational amplifier. We have here the circuit. So if we do the analysis, we can get this expression here very easily. We can use the superposition principle to analyze this. If we inject the signal BF here and we consider zero here at this point, then we get this expression, which is the expression of the inverting amplifier implemented with an operational amplifier. And if we consider zero voltage here and we inject a signal uh, here at this point, then we have the gain of the non-inverting amplifier implemented with the operational amplifier times the voltage V ref. So then what we are getting at the end is this expression in which this part here corresponds to the compensator. So if we implement the closed loop operation following this structure, as we can see, we will be implementing only this part that we have here. But when we are doing the implementation using the operational amplifier, as shown here, we are adding also at the output of the compensator the value of B ref. And this is the reason why we are going to have this difference between the theoretical response and the actual response when we implement the closed loop in this way. So let's analyze this a little bit further. Here we have the implementation using the PI compensator implemented with the operational amplifier. So this is the real block diagram of the converter operating in closed loop. We have this MV ref that we are adding at the output of the compensator because of the implementation with the operational amplifier. So if we analyze the response of this block diagram, then we will get here this expression in which we get this factor 1 plus CP, which is different from the implementation using the subtractor and the PI compensator independently. We can see that the expression in the denominator is the same in both implementations. So the expression of the loop gain is the same and the way to determine the stability of the system is the same also in both implementations. Also, we have to note that this implementation with the operational amplifier is only different from the other implementation when we want to calculate the response in closed loop of the control to output transfer function. This is the output voltage over the reference voltage. When we calculate the other responses, for example, the output impedance of the converter in closed loop or the audio susceptibility of the converter in closed loop, we are applying the superposition principle, so we are not considering perturbations in B ref. So this is going to be zero. So here we are adding also zero. And then the loop is the same in both cases with the implementation or with the operational amplifier or with the separated differentiator and PI compensator. So here we can see both implementations. We can have the first option, which is to have a separate differentiator and then the PI compensator. And this is the expression that we are using here in our WinPython script. So with this implementation, we have this response here in red, which is the one that we have seen before. But if we are implementing our closed loop in this way, then we have this other expression here for the control to output 
response in closed loop and then we can see that here in blue is the body plot this is the gain and this is the phase so we can see the differences between them so we can see that the gain in the second option is higher than the gain in the first option and also that the phase is going to increase and then decrease in this way so here we can see an alternative implementation of our converter in closed loop. So we are going to have the same response as using a separate differentiator and then the PI compensator. So here what we have done is to implement with this operational amplifier the differentiator or subtractor and then here we are implementing the PI compensator. However, we have done here a trick because with this implementation of the compensator, because this is an inverting implementation of an amplifier with an operational amplifier, the response that we are implementing here is not the compensator CP, but the compensator multiplied by minus one. So what we have done here is to reverse the polarity into the differentiator so we are injecting the reference voltage into the negative input of the substructor and then measuring the output voltage through the positive input of the subtractor. So at the end, the negative sign here is going to compensate with the negative sign in the implementation of the compensator. So now if we run the simulation, we will obtain these results in which we can see the gain of the control to output transfer function in closed loop and also the phase of this transfer function. And if we compare the different points, then we will see that they are matching very well the theoretical response that we have seen before. So as conclusion, we have to take care about how we are going to implement the PI compensator and the closed loop structure of our converter, especially if we are interested in having a particular response of our converter in closed loop. And remember that for the other transfer functions, the input impedance, the output impedance, the audio susceptibility and the loop gain, there is no difference between both implementations because to obtain these transfer functions, we are making null the reference voltage. Well, this concludes this presentation today. I hope that you find this information useful for you. Please let me know if you have any comment or question. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye now.